Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be starting a new series on the channel. Uh, it's going to be uh, walkthroughs of the starting point track on Hack the Box. Uh, I think Hack the Box is a great resource, um, and recently they put out this track of machines uh, called the Starting Point Track, um, and I think it has a great entry level skill cap. Uh, the thing about Hack the Box is, you know, a year ago um, I felt like it had a very high um, not very high, but a higher skill ceiling to enter in. Um, a lot of the machines were geared towards people that already knew a lot of these skills um, and could apply them very rapidly. Um, there wasn't a lot of great, like, true beginner content on Hack the Box, whereas I think these machines introduce um, a, a great way to get started um, in the offensive security space. And um, all you really need to know is kind of the methodology of hacking, um, kind of like what steps you might go through. Um, and if, even if you're not super familiar with that, uh, you, you'll learn it and you'll pick up on it really quick going through this. One thing that is absolutely necessary, though, is you do need to be able to use um, Linux at least semi-comfortably, um, know how to change directories, you know, switch things around, run some, run some commands. Uh, really, really uh, low skill entry here, but um, if you aren't comfortable with Linux, I would recommend you go over to Hack the Box Academy um, and take like the introduction to Linux course. Um, you'll get familiar with how uh, how to use the terminal, um, you know, some basic uh, bash, some like where things are located on the file system. Uh, I, I would say that is required to get into this. But other than that. Um, this is a great, great entry point for us, and uh, we're going to start out with the box called Meow. Um, so what I did prior to starting up this video was download the uh, VPN file, and I'll show you guys what this looks like. We're going to do this together. So you actually have to do these sequentially, and it'll show you that you're not connected to Hack the Box currently. What we have here is a fresh Hack the Box account, never done any of these machines before. You're just going to come over to labs, you're going to come down to starting point, and then we're on tier zero. I clicked on meow. This is the first machine. Then we'll click on uh, OVPN or open VPN. What you'll do is you'll download the VPN file and then you drag it onto your uh, virtual machine. Um, I went ahead and dragged it into the home directory. That way, whenever you launch up a terminal, uh, your terminal automatically launches in your home directory unless you change it. That way you can um, just automatically just straight up. You don't have to change uh, directories. You can just straight up uh, launch the VPN. And to do that, you need to type sudo, which is uh, super user do. Um, and we need to do sudo open VPN. And then the VPN is just going to be titled uh, your name or your username rather. So uh, and then so starting point underscore your username dot OVPN. So what you do is sudo open VPN, then your v open VPN file. You'll hit enter um, your password um, and then you'll be connected once you see this initialization completed. Um, and then we can minimize this. If you don't, um, I suggest heading over to the Hack the Box forums, uh, paste in your error, and you will either be greeted with somebody um, that can help you. Uh, so most of the times you're going to have the same error that somebody else had, and it's pretty easy to troubleshoot. Um, but other than that, this can take a few seconds to connect up. It says it can take up to two minutes, but what I typically do um, is refresh if it doesn't. Um, I will be back with you guys once this connects up to Hack the Box. Okay, so um, as you can see now, we are connected up. This will turn green. Um, sometimes the page will reload. If you're using Chrome, it'll most likely just reload, um, and you'll this will automatically connect. If not, I suggest just waiting a few seconds and then hitting the restart button or the refresh button rather, uh, and it'll uh, start up for you. Then the next step we have to do is just click Spawn Machine. Again, I'll be back with you once this spawns. This usually takes a few seconds, can take up to two minutes. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, as you can see, my uh, machine was created. The instance of the target was created. Um, so this spins up a machine on the same network that we are on on the VPN that we're VPNed into. Um, so what we'll do is we'll answer the first task. 
Um, so what does the acronym VM stand for? This stands for virtual machine, and that is the machine that you are using to attack or uh, that you've spun up on your own computer. The next question is what tool do we use to interact with the operating system in order to start our VPN connection? So that was the terminal, and that is what we have interacting with our VPN right here. So we will come back over to this, enter terminal, submit. What service do we use to form our VPN connection? So that was OpenVPN. That was the VPN that we were using that you saw we launched and connected to the machine. So this is going to be the interface um, that your VPN is interacting with the uh, target network. Um, and I will show you guys how to tell what this is. So if we start up another terminal, um, and we, I'm going to make this bigger for you guys, then we'll do a command called ifconfig, or ifconfig. Um, and what we'll see here is this last interface. We are on that 10 network that we saw our uh, target machine was spun up in, and this is the TUN network, which is short for tunnel. Um, and that is tunneling our connection to the target machine. So we will go ahead and put TUN in. Um, and then we can also head down to the next task. Uh, what tool do we use to test our connection to the target? Um, so this is going to be a command called ping. And I will show you how we can test our connection to the target right now. So we'll copy that IP address. We'll come over back over to the terminal. Um, we're going to type ping, which is that command. Uh, and then we're going to paste that address. And what this does is you'll see it's pinging. Uh, you can think of this as almost like a pulse check. We're pinging the other target machine, and it's saying, hey, I'm here, hey, I'm here. Um, if these are coming through, that means we can communicate with the end server, and we're testing our connection really quick. Um, another thing that people like to do is do uh, C3. Whoops. Um, this will just send three, and then it'll quit. That way it just goes really quick. Uh, we'll clear that, whoops, and then come back. So task six, um, the name of the script that we're going to use to scan the target's ports, this is a um, tool called nmap, um, and nmap is short for network mapper. Um, this is a super, super helpful tool to understand what ports are open on the other, uh, on the target machine. And a port, um, if you're unfamiliar, is kind of like a door. Um, and that door needs to be open for a service behind that door to communicate with other outside machines. So if we do nmap, I'm going to do this, so lowercase s capital C, lowercase s, capital V, and then I'm going to do V for um, a little bit more information as we output it, and then I'm going to paste the IP address. So this first switch is going to run some scripts, give us a little bit more information. Um, minus SV is going to give us the version information of what is on that target. V is going to give us uh, more information as the script runs. So I'll show you how this works right now. So you start um, it's scanning right now, and it's finding some ports that are open. As you can see, one is discovered here on port 23. Now what it's doing is it's scanning that port 23 for the service information, so it's going to find out what, um, what version it, uh, that service is that's running on port 23, and then it's going to do some standard scripts, which is going to give us even more information on that uh, that port. Okay, so as you can see, I shortened some of the output here for us. I just ran a uh, service version information, and then what we got here is it shows us the port um, that's running. It tells us that this port is open, what the service is, um, and then the version of that service. So we know that Telnet is running on port 23, and Telnet is a service that allows us to interact in a terminal type of interface, uh, similar to how we'd launched a terminal um, with a remote machine. So if we go back over to Google Chrome, 
and we can say that telnet is open and then launch this. So we get a little bit of a hint here from task eight. Um, and that is what username ultimately works with the remote management login prompt for the target. Um, we can see that it ends in T. Uh, so there is a account that's on every Linux machine um, by default, and it's called root. Root is the uh, super user of all accounts on the machine. It has all access to everything on the machine. Um, and that's important to know that uh, root is able to log in. So uh, what is open is we know that Telnet is open on the machine. Uh, Telnet is like a command line interface uh, and it lets you get a terminal on a remote machine. Um, or get a terminal-like interface with the remote machine. You can kind of interact with it. So what we can do is we can type telnet, hit the IP address, and then we're going to connect. And since we know that that root account um, exists, or we can assume that it's the root, uh, the root account since uh, they gave us a hint that it ends in T, um, we can try root. So we'll type in root. And we're automatically logged in as root. So you can see we're logged in as root at the box name meow. Um, and this pound sign actually symbolizes that you're the super user. Uh, if you're not super user, you would be seeing a uh, you would be seeing a dollar sign. So we can even type who am I, and it'll tell us root. Um, but what we want to look for, we want to use ls to look for any flags, and it looks like the flag is right there. So we will cat to print the flag into the machine and this looks like this is going to be our flag so we will copy this out of the box come back over oh, and root did work so let's submit that answer and then let's grab the flag in the thing we're going to need to type uh, hack the box curly open curly brace close the curly brace around our flag and then submit the flag and we can see that the uh, machine was pwned. So that is going to be the first machine in the series of uh, Hack the Box uh, starting point machine walkthroughs. Um, next time we'll go through Fawn, which is the second in the uh, tier zero. Um, and we will move on from there. All right. Thanks you, thank you guys.